It appears some rats have snuck into the palace. They should be here any moment. Who are these vermin? I needn't have asked. <clears throat> so you've arrived, Maxwell. And looking much more spry than I expected after your injury. All to stop you. Go wait by the lamps. We'll obliterate those northern savages as soon as I'm finished with Maxwell. As you wish. Ilbert, will you really raise your sword against your master? My only master is Lord Klein. There is no other. I'm willing to forgive such insolence, if you return to my side. Once I thought you had the potential to be a great king, but now I see you've become unworthy of the throne. Hmm. No one in this world is more worthy to sit upon this throne than I! You still don't get it, do you? You lack the qualities needed to govern humanity. Foolish girl. A king only needs one quality, birthright. He is born into his power. So he can sacrifice his own people? Of course. Again, that is my birthright. Now I'll extend my influence over the spirit realm as well. You will control no one. No man and no spirit either. Foolish boy. Has Maxwell's impudence rubbed off on you as well? You can call me whatever you want. Do you have any idea how much your actions have tormented Rowan here? Any idea at all? Jude, please. You people think peace is some sort of right. You are mistaken. Peace is a luxury, not a right. Surrender yourselves into my service. That is your duty as my subjects. You are beyond salvation. I'm through wasting my time with you. Let's put an end to this right now. Share all of the mana absorbed by the Lance of Kresnik. Once I believed that you and I were two friends who traveled along the same path in life. However, now it seems we've reached our journey's end. With a philosophy like that, life must be convenient. But your beliefs have become a royal pain to all of us. They're just illusions of grandeur. I can't believe that someone like this could be our king! It's time someone knocks some sense in you! Jude, and Mila, and everyone! I have to protect my friends! Off with his head! Off with his head! Someone needs to put a stop to your ambitions! And that would be us! Prepare yourself, Noctigal! Now I shall show you the power that will unite Riz and Maxia! Watch out! If you wish to fall from grace, then let it be by- By my hand! Are you capable of such when your spear is dull? This spear has granted unity and resolve to this country, now and forever. We shall see, your friend. But enough, Tom. There is no greater language than that of war. Have at you! Very well, so be it. It all ends here. Indeed! <laughs> 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 Let's do this. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. 
Request that you stand down. over to Gaius! Regardless, as king you must answer for your crimes. Nonsense! With the Lance of Kresnik, I shall have absolute power! That's enough! Mankind wasn't meant to wield such power. It would destroy the world as we know it. And you as well. <laughs> Mila, wait! This man is Rowan's friend, so Rowan should handle it. Noctagal, a country without its king is doomed to chaos. You have turned away from the responsibility you must bear. We have both turned away. King Noctagal. Ilbert, you're not saying that I should... Let us build a new future for Rashagal together. You mean you would bear the burden of my crimes as well? It's of no consequence. Rowan... <laughs> Do it. Yes, Master. Not to go! Who is it? Who's there? No, they must be after... The Lance of Kresnik! Don't worry about me. We must hurry. <laughs> 